Welcome back to the channel and today we are back in the Trailmaker Space Bound update and uh, this time I've got all the DLC enabled and my goal is to explore a little bit with some of the DLC and all that stuff but also there's a moon over in that direction. Uh, let me enable my HUD so I can see where I'm actually aiming. Um, NASA. Yeah, that's actually... Oh, oh okay. We're entering a bunch of... Oh, oh we're entering everything off this... Oh, because I... <laughs> I turned my HUD on, so it caught up with all the stuff on the screen. But uh, over at this moon, there is uh, a mother base, and the mother ship is there as well, with a whole bunch of enemies, and apparently there's some shields guarding some loot. So I definitely want to go explore over there and uh, defeat the enemies and figure out uh, just what, what those shields are hiding from me. But before I do that, I need to actually build, for real, I need to build an actual battle-ready spacecraft because this thing was just to test out all of the different blocks. And uh, it is not ideal for space. But there's a couple of other things, too, that I want to check out. One is the customization menu has apparently a lot more customization to be done here. Uh, like, the, we have hair colors now, so I can change my hair color. You can change it to all kinds of funky colors. Look at that. But uh, let's see if I can get my character to look at all like me. I, I don't know if there's, I don't think there's facial hair. Except for, I mean, well, and this is facial hair, but that does not match my facial hair at all. All right, what do we got for outfits? Okay, oh, so they have different icons for different, uh, the different expansions that they had. So the, this is the, the high seas expansion, and then we got the airborne expansion. And now we have the, oh, that looks so cool, that one. Oh, but that one is like scrap man. Oh yeah, so now there's also uh, these these blocks come with the DLC. We have the glowing grid block and uh, this hexagon block. So here, with my secondary color, I, I'm gonna change my colors. I'm gonna do black primary, red secondary. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. But my default block, I'm just gonna have it be the clean block because it, it looks the cleanest. All right, so I think I am actually gonna be Scrap Man here. Oh, and I also just realized I can change the colors of the body as well. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. All right, uh, I'm gonna go black primary, bright red secondary, or should it be the other way around? Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. Oh, I might use this. This actually does look pretty cool. Yeah, I think I found my character. I am the space scrap man. There we go, look at this. This looks great. Okay, so now uh, let's get into build mode here. Uh, we're just gonna delete that because I want to use the new space fighter cockpit. Part of the DLC, there it is. This thing looks great. How, out of curiosity, even though there's no aerodynamics in space, how is the aerodynamics on the spaceship cockpit compared to the airplane cockpit? Okay. Um, very similar. Pretty much identical, actually. It seems like the spaceship cockpit is... Oh, well, actually, look at the dimensions. It is slightly longer. So it is six blocks. All right, another thing we have is... uh, Where is it? Thrust. Yes. We have the rocket engine. Now I can finally see. It is 20 power cores, and it is 1,800 power. So let me just slap this thing on here. We actually have decent attachment points with this thing. We have it on the on the front or on the back. I don't know what is front and back, but also all around the sides too. That's pretty nice. So let's see, um, let's do a quick comparison here. I'm gonna slap one of these on here and we're just gonna go. Okay, we are not, okay, our center of thrust is not aligned with our center of mass. There we go, this is ridiculous. Okay, so we can see how fast we're increasing in speed here. Now let's go into build mode and uh, we're gonna slap this thing on here. Oh my, look at this. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, it has a really slow buildup. But now look at how fast we're going. Like that, that speedometer is just circling around like a clock and fast forward. Let me take a quantum rudder really quick. Oh, I can't. I can't attach the quantum motor right there. All right, look at this. This is like one of the strangest builds, but it totally works. You have roll and you have pitch and you have this massive thruster attached, attached to an operator seat. So this is definitely not gonna be my build though. Uh, I'm just experimenting with some of the DLC parts now. So also part of the DLC is a whole amount of detail parts. So we have things like these are called uh, greebles, 
which I think it, it is actually a word that just means like a a purely for the sake of detail, like no function, just form. So these things will make spaceships look pretty cool. I'll see if I'll have room for them. We got antenna arrays and uh, parabolas and dish antennas, stick antennas and more greebles. All right, now let's actually build a fighter ship, something that is capable of taking on everything on NASA. All right, spaceship fighter cockpit. What do I want it to look like? I don't know. I'm just going to improvise and see what I end up coming up with. I don't want to, I do want a decent amount of firepower though. All right, I got, I've been starting building here. I got to admit this spaceship cockpit looks so cool. Uh, so what I've got right now so far is I've got a gyro here for yaw. I've got a gyro right behind the spaceship cockpit for roll. Um, I've got these quantum rudders that do my pitch and I've got a bunch of space thrusters. Now, the issue I'm seeing right now with my current build, or with any space build, is um, slowing down. Like, I don't really know how to slow down, or if I want to reverse, or say if I even want to, like, taxi this thing in for landing. Like, there's a lot that goes in. There's a lot of forces that go into that. So if I want this thing to be, like, landable, I'm going to have to slow down, and I'm going to have to have, like, up and downwards thrust or something. Like, see, I'm... Oh, oh yeah, I have, um... My, my shift key is uh, how I do a bit of like a hyperdrive booster. I thought that'd be like a, a kind of a fun function. Let's see how much of an impact it has. So there is my, all right, so I'm at, with these quantum rudders, they cap me out about 527, 530. So now if I press this, oh yeah, you can see as it slowly builds up power, it starts increasing the speed even more. Because right now I do have drag because of the quantum rudders. So it's not, uh, there's no, it's not like there's no resistance like normal space, but that increases my max speed by a lot. So that does help. All right, but I don't have any weapons on this thing yet, and I do not have um, any shields or anything like that. Oh, I didn't think about shields. I got to put shields on this thing too. All right, I've got a pretty cool idea here, and it serves multiple purposes. The first purpose is having a ton of firepower. So I have these uh, wings curving around to the side and, you know, some classic starship fashion. Um, but at the tip of these wings, I have four plasma cannons and then a reverse space thruster so I can actually potentially slow down. So that is hopefully going to add a little bit of uh, maneuverability and controllability into this thing. So now all I got to do is paste this to the other side. Ooh, this is actually looking pretty cool. All right, let's take a look and see how this thing actually uh, maneuvers first. Okay, this is cool. Yep, this is definitely pretty cool. Look at that firepower. I'm definitely going to, uh, I'm going to talk, or I'm going to stagger them so they fire a lot more, like, machine gun style. Okay, so in order to stagger four of them, it seems like, uh, there's a bullet every quarter of a second. So you have to divide that quarter into quarters. So one shot every eighth of a second. That's so cool. All right, so now I'm gonna copy and paste those settings to the other side. Yes, that is so much firepower. All right, let's check my reverse thrusters too. If I let go, we don't really slow down that much, but apply the reverse. There we go, we're slowing down. We're still just slow, wow, they need they re it takes a lot for them to counter that mass. All right, I think this actually adds a bit to the aesthetic as well, because now we've got these things, which also function as reverse thrusters. There we go. All right, we definitely have a center of thrust issue, though. Oh, you know what? Reversing isn't really a thing that works with the quantum rudder, because it acts like a tail. So the quantum rudder is going to try to point me in that direction too. So these are really brakes. They're not really uh, for reverse, at least not high speed reverse, maybe just for minor maneuvering. All right, as far as weaponries go, the only thing I'm really missing for the space theme is uh, the EMP launcher. See what I mean? Oh, that looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? But now let's take a look at some of the greebles um, and see how they look. Cause I feel like, oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's a big one. Two by four greeble, two by one. Oh, I see. This is a two by two. All right, some of these are kind of big. Oh yeah, so some of these can actually replace some of these wedge blocks. If I do them like this. That looks pretty cool. I mean, they're pretty much wedge shaped just with steps. This is just a wedge with extra steps. Heh. <laughs> 
All right, let me actually look at some of the paint jobs too. I want to see like, what does this look like? If we have a red, whoa, that is crazy. So yeah, whatever secondary color you apply, uh, applies to the glowing grid and also this as well man these are some cool looking textures all right i'm gonna keep it kind of simple i just kind of like this glowing next to the cockpit here um and now let's actually work on our shields now because there's a whole bunch of settings for our shields so the vertical offset we're just gonna have the edges meet right there so now height we definitely don't need to have it be i just want to have it kind of perfectly encapsulate my build here all right so i think that's pretty good width definitely needs to be a little bit wider and then the length is actually looking not too bad yeah that looks pretty good doesn't it i kind of feel like there needs to be an offset in other directions too because i kind of want to just shift it backwards slightly but this is fine all right i'm gonna have these off by default whoa that was cool oh look at that wait it, it has an off animation in the uh, build mode all right, so now I just press number one to do that. Two to fire those. I've got that. I've got my yaw. And I've also got my pitch. I've got pretty much everything I need. Um, I've got my standard thrust. And then I've got my booster. And then I've also got my brakes. All right, I am missing something though. I want to be able to land this thing. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of extra time and see if I can figure that out. Okay, let's see if I've done this right. So that should make me go up. Kind of does. She, okay, this is. Oh, I need. I need a. I need a reference point. I think this is a zero G spawn point. Here we go. So if I press G, yeah, we do go down. If I press T, we go up. All right. You know what? This is good enough. I think. I can use my quantum rudders to counteract it. But there we go. Now I can actually land. But when I land. This isn't the best, like I kind of want like little landing legs. Oh, I just thought of a brilliant idea, but I need to make more room now. So the uh, gyro stabilizer, I believe this has a toggle, right? Yes, if we toggle the gyro stabilizer on, it'll keep us upright for landing. Oh my goodness, all right, this is awesome. So when you're looking at this thing, it doesn't look like it really has landing gear, but check out what happens. All, this all happens automatically once it gets close enough to the ground. So ready, here it goes. Landing gear comes out and all of the gyro stabilizers activate so you can see here once we get high enough for the landing gear to go back You can see now I can tilt myself. So I'm at this weird angle So now all I'm gonna do is just go down and I'm not gonna press any other controls Ready? Oh Yes, you see that that is so good. Yeah, man I spent so much more time on this than I was expecting. I spent an hour and a half just building an awesome ship my goal for this episode was to go uh, defeat all of the pirates, and I just wanted the best ship for that. And I think I have a pretty good ship now. So let's head over and start defeating the pirates. What does first person look like in this thing? Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Should I do this in first person? I'm down to do it in first person. Oh, my shields. Wait, I can't even see them from inside here. Hold on. Okay, they are activating. Yeah, I think the shields, you don't really see them that much um until they get damaged that is so cool i love this ship i am a huge i'm, I'm very glad i'm very uh, proud of the ship all right just remembering all my controls now okay here we go we're coming into nassau here shields enabled all right i should probably wait until i actually get in get a lock before i start shooting all right now we're gonna have a ridiculous amount of things firing at us is my, my shields are not on aren't they all right, wait, I think I got, I think I got EMP'd. It's actually kind of hard to see what's going on. Come on, get him. Oh, oh, that was close. Okay, my shields are definitely on. Come on, get the tower. All right, there's a tower. All right, I might have to do third person. It's actually a little bit hard to tell what's going on in first person. All right, here we go. No problem there. I should have been using my EMPs. I don't know what the EMPs does to uh, the turret towers and stuff. All right, that one's down. All right, I think this area, I think I got all of the uh, the the spaceships that are defending this area. So now let's go for the turrets. I don't know if that actually does anything to them. Uh oh, oh boy, we're going into EMP fields. All right, boost. All right, this is actually kind of hard. Oh, 
Uh oh. All right, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. We gotta wait for that shield to recharge. I do not have strafing capabilities. Oh, there's gravity. That's why things are feeling different. Oh no, wait a minute. Yeah, these uh, these turret towers, which are responsible for the shields, they need to be hit with explosive projectiles. This is a risky spot to put rocket launchers, but it might be what I need. All right, look at all these aiming reticles. Now I should be able to come in and press number three to destroy the turret tower. I don't know how much it's gonna take though. Number three. Oh no, number two. There we go. All right, the rockets are going to be useful for the towers as well. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to get them. No. All right, go, 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 go. Wait, why are my shields not on? Oh, I just put my shield on and it got destroyed immediately. All right, that was pretty epic. All right, use a boost to redirect. This is really fun. All right, one more turret tower left. Uh, Dang it, I wasn't locked on. Come on. There it is. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, I just blew myself up. Oh, I think. Yeah, I had to have blown myself up. All right, well, I have a repair. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. I just used my repair. My center of thrust is all messed up now. All right, can I lock on this thing? All right, there we go. I just need that repair token to come back. Two for rockets. There they go. All right, destroyed that one. My repair is back. All right, let's put our shields back on. All right. See, oh man, I am just destroying myself. I'm gonna swap the rockets and the EMPs because I don't know if I can EMP myself or not. There we go. All right, cool. Oh, ow, oh no, oh no. Ow, ow. <laughs> Get out of here. There we go, finally. All right, I've got two out of the three sector, the stations down. So, oh, he just spawned right in on top of me. All right, let's just head over to these guys now. All right, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on the towers. The towers seem like a bigger threat, to be honest. It's actually really hard. I'm having a lot of trouble controlling through this atmosphere. All right, come on, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, they're firing. Oh, it's firing my guns without, <laughs> look at that. That's interesting. I got hit with an EMP and it seemed to actually only affect the part of my vehicle that it hit. That is actually unexpected. I thought it was gonna affect my whole vehicle. All right, now I've got these guys separated from their towers. They've got no support. Wait, what? My my missile, my rockets are still hurting me, even though they're up in front like that. I don't really know how. Am I going too fast for the rockets? They shouldn't, they shouldn't matter. You know what it is? My sideways velocity. It's really hard to get a feel for the sideways velocity in space. Uh oh. But that actually might be what's doing it. Oh. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Please get it. Yes. Now I'll take care of these guys. Uh oh, oh, don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground. There we go. Perfect. All right, and then there's a plane left. There we go. All right. I've got it all. All, uh, I've got all the shields down. So I should be able to go down into the center of the planet. Oh, then the mothership's going to be there. All right, where, let's, there's a, there's an approach from the outside rather than go, I don't want to go down through the center. I don't trust the gravity with this thing, but let's fly around the planet. Oh, that must be where it is right there. All right, let's see if I can take these guys out now. The mothership. Oh, and there's all the, all those turrets as well. Man, I just took out like three of them, I think. Come on, lock on somebody. Lock on somebody. This is crazy. Shields on, shields on. What am I doing? There we go, come on. Yes, all right, it's starting to happen. Yes. All right, just a few more left. Lock on, get him, there he is. All right, that was the last plane, I think. Okay, so now I just got the turret towers. Wait, why are the shields back? Do the shields regenerate? I'm confused why the shields are, are there. I thought I got the towers, but I guess not. All right, well, let's get these guys then. All right, there's one down. Come on. All right, there's another one down. Oh, let's get out of here. I wonder if that's gold. Ow. There we go, another one down. Oh, the planes are coming back. All right, one more over here. Redirect. Man, changing directions 
I feel like I just built my thing too heavy. All right, and... Ah. Come on, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Wait, I thought I just blew him up. He's not, he's not dead yet? There we go, he had like one shot left. Man, these planes respawn quick. All right, I'm learning a lot about space battling though. It's a lot harder than I was expecting, even with the quantum rudders. At least it depends on the type of build, I guess. All right, I might need to up the directional stability of these. Let's put the strength up to two as well. All right, I think I finally defeated all of the uh, space pirates. So now let's get over and see what this is all about. Finally. All right, let's activate our upwards force. Ugh, oh, the gravity's too much. All right, that's fine. That's fine. You just get out and head over here. What is this? Oh, low gravity. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. There we go. Well, if you ever needed gold to unlock parts and uh, trail makers, there's a ton of it here. But I'm still confused as to why these shields are up. I must have missed some type of tower, some of the towers or something. But the lights, there's no more lights on these. Are the shields actually up or is it like, is that a glitch? Let's see. Wait, I can just walk in here. Maybe it's a visual glitch. Maybe the shields are actually down, but they're not visually down for me. Because I am pretty sure I disabled them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I think it's just a visual visual glitch that didn't actually get visually disabled, but it is uh, physically disabled. There we go. Get off of this planet. All right, here we go. Leaving NASA for once. We came, we saw, we conquered, we looted, we pillaged the gold, and now we are returning. <laughs> returning where? I don't actually know. Wait, where? where is the place? Where? Where is the space station? Oh, way over here. Yeah, it would actually be cool to be able to turn the quantum rudders off because right now I have a maximum speed, but it would be really cool to turn off that maximum speed to just get a whole bunch of speed and then turn them on as a way to slow down as we approach our destination. Well, I'm pretty sure that this space station, even though there's one G inside the space station, even inside the hangar, I think there's like this area to land that still has zero G. All right, I'm going to start slowing down now that I'm getting closer. Where is the front of the space station? Oh, it looks like it's probably the other side where the ring is is not attached, huh? There it is. Galena. Yep, that's it right there. All right, let's see if, how this thing does with landing. Okay, here we go. Doing good. Put my reverse thrusters on. And my downwards gimbals. And... There we go, look at that. Successful landing. Yeah, this is, let's, if I go in here, it's gonna be 1G. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now I have no chance of taking off anymore. Yeah, there's literally, I can't, hold, wait, maybe if I do this. I can't take off. I built a spaceship that can only uh, function in zero G, which I guess isn't, isn't too, uh, it's not too big of a deal, is it? All right, but I am pretty happy with this. It was a little bit harder to control than I was expecting during the battles, but uh, it's my first actual fighter ship. So I think it just, it's just a little bit of a learning process on how to fly in space. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what else you'd like to see, obviously I haven't explored, I've explored one planet now, but there's still other planets with different atmospheres and stuff to explore. We got that one over there. We got that one over there. Uh, we got Hull Room somewhere as well, as well as the asteroids. So yeah, leave those comments down below and let me know what you thought of this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.